So how many of you have things that you like to do? How many of you have things that you're supposed to do that you may or may not like doing? How many of you put off doing things you're supposed to do because you're doing things that you like to do? Or just because you don't want to do the things you don't want to do? How many people have ever gotten in trouble for putting off something you're supposed to do? Yeah, me too. So putting off something you're supposed to do is called procrastination. So that is, you know what you're supposed to do and you just don't do it when you're supposed to do it and you keep putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. And the more you put things off, the harder they become. Uh, the, harder, the harder they are for you to actually do them. And uh, the more likelihood is that you'll lose the opportunities to get the benefit of the things you're doing or, at the worst case, you get in trouble for not doing them. So uh, there's a guy named Stephen Covey who has a tool that we talk about uh, and that we use and um, it's called Urgent Versus Important. And by the way, it's all about time management. We're managing our time. Uh, you've heard people managing their money. I get a certain amount. I get $10. So how do I spend that $10 on things that are actually going to benefit my life? Well, you only have 24 hours in a day. So you're going to manage those 24 hours in a certain way to try and get the most benefit from that. And benefit might mean uh, I'm going to create more wealth or health or friendships or uh, happiness or peacefulness, so whatever that might be. But long term, putting things off does not help you become happier or more peaceful. Uh, how many times do you ever put something off and just get more and more stressed out and more and more upset because you, you, you know, oh, I've got, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this. So it doesn't help happiness to procrastinate. Uh, it doesn't, certainly doesn't help wealth. So Stephen Covey has this urgent versus important that really uh, helps us figure out the, what, what to do with our time and it makes a lot of sense of it. So uh, we're going to have this up on the board and it is called urgent versus important. So this is high urgency and low urgency. So it's low to high. And then we have low importance and high importance. And now when you have these different, these different uh, two different axes, you can say, okay, now we have four different areas. So it's either highly urgent and low importance, or it's low importance and low urgency, or it is high urgency and high importance, and high importance but low urgency. So which one do you think is the most, the one you should focus on the most? Most people think it's, hey, if it's really urgent and really important, that's where I need to spend time. We're going to talk about this in a different, uh, a different session, but it's called the 80-20 rule. 20% uh, of the efforts that you do will get 80% of the results, but also 20% um, of the people you know will cause 80% of the problems. So where do you really want to focus your time? You want to focus your time where you're going to get the most benefit. So let's talk about this a little bit. So... It, what are the things down here in this low urgency and low importance? Low urgency and low importance. Is it important that you watch TV? If you're doing a report or a study and you're trying to figure something out, maybe it's the news and you're really trying to keep track of the news, um, there might be some importance around that, but for most people, they, they watch TV because they want to burn some time, they want to waste some time, they want to just kind of chill out and not do much. So in the big picture of things, not very important and it's not very urgent. So this is an area you don't want to spend much time in. If it's highly urgent and uh, low importance, what does that really mean? Well, if it's really urgent, that means it has to get done. But if it's a low importance to you, odds are it's probably somebody else's crisis, somebody else's problem, somebody else's urgency. So somebody walks up and says, oh, I've got a problem. I've got to get this done right now. i got to get this done right now. Uh, can you help me? Well, if you have the time and if it's something that works out for you, great. You know, be compassionate, help support and help other people. But just because somebody else has an emergency doesn't mean you have an emergency. So this is an area where you wouldn't, shouldn't spend much time either because it's just not very important to you and what you're trying to accomplish. So let's go over here to this area called high urgency and high importance. Uh, this area, it's called crisis. It's called emergency. Typically, we talk about procrastination. This is the area that you push things off and push things off, and now it's deadline, you have to do it right now, 
or bad things will happen. So now you're up here. So you get all stressed out and it takes, takes away everything, every effort. You, all things you had planned, you can't do anymore because you're over here. Has that ever happened to you? Probably happens quite a lot, right? Probably happens fairly often because most of us don't think about how to manage our time and most of us um, procrastinate and put things off so a lot of things end up in this area. So typically we'll spend 80% of our time up here just dealing with crisis. And because we're so kind of stressed out and burned out from being here, we come back over here to this low urgent and low importance area because we just need to get away from it and recover. So spending so much time here depletes you and you have to come over here. So spend less time here. Where you want to spend most of your time is this low urgency but high important things. So what is the low urgency, high important things? Well, this is what we talked about with our visioning, setting our goals, um, actually taking the time to set aside those times uh, to... to set aside the hour or two hours each day to do our homework or do our special project or move that work process forward. The one thing, the, what's the one thing right now that makes the biggest difference in your life? Then that's the thing you should be working on right now. So right now for me, I'm putting this program together for you and I'm spending two hours a day every day to either create, produce, or um, uh, or distribute this, this information to you. So this is ur uh, not urgent because I could put it off and do other things, but it's really important. Um, so I could put this thing off and you know get it out in a year or two years or three years. It's not urgent that I get it out right now, but it is important to me. So I want to make sure that this is going to be done. So I've established that time every day to make it happen. It's part of my day. So now I'm not going. Oh my gosh, I have to get it out next week, so I have to put on ten videos tomorrow. So now it's all urgent and everything falls apart. If you look at how your life is in this urgent versus important um, kind of framework, now you can say, okay, what's important but not urgent? Those are the things you need to build into your schedule right now. Those are the big rocks you put in so nothing else can take that space. So now you know you're, you're, you're taking time for planning. You're taking time for visioning. You're taking time for goal setting and taking the actions to make those goals happen. You're also... Um, taking time to exercise and make sure you uh, cook a proper meal or get a proper meal someplace so your body is refreshed and, and renewed and becoming stronger. Uh, it means you take the time to actually read um, inspiring books or books that will help give you more skills or information because now you're taking that time that uh, is going to give you the skills and tools to, to really do what you need to do. If you're in school, you, you set aside those times to do homework. So the homework gets done now instead of having to rush in the last minute. You know, I'd love to go out and hang out with my friends and do uh, fun things. Uh, and I can do that if I build that in the process because that is important too. This area down here isn't just, oh, uh, I'm going to hang out with my friends and it's not useful. This is recreational if you move it into this um, a thoughtful part of your life. It's, not, it's no longer low urgency and low importance. It's actually not urgent. But it is important that you make connections with people and have fun and get recreation. So you build this in. So look at all the things that are important to your life that are really going to add and uh, create wealth and health and happiness and peacefulness to your life. And move those in here. Plan it out. Create your vision. What is your life supposed to look like? What's it going to look like? And then spend your time here. So in this area down here, this low urgency, low importance, um, they're time wasters. Don't do anything in there. Just don't do anything in there. Um, this higher urgency and low important, it's probably other people's problems that they're bringing to you and expecting you to solve. If you have time, great, help them out. But let somebody else do it. You know, somebody else, if you fix somebody else's problem, they expect you to fix it all the time. So uh, let someone else do this, this work up here. If you're a manager uh, it's, or in a, in a company, if you're an owner of a company, you're up in this area, people bring the problem to you, guess what? They should be trained and they should be knowledgeable enough to do their own work. So let them do it. Don't, don't solve their problem. Uh, so it's the idea of uh, if I give you a fish, you eat today. But if I teach you to fish, you'll, you'll eat for a lifetime. Help these people learn to fish so you don't have to fish for them. Over in this area here, this is urgent and important. So it needs to get done now. These are things that are going to move your life forward. These are things that really will create more health and wealth and peaceful, uh, peacefulness and happiness for you. But for some reason, it needs to get done right now. So now you have to get, take care of these things and move them forward. Too many times we think things are urgent when they're really not. So figure out what those things are 
And you can figure out what those things are by getting spending more time down here in this low urgency but high importance area to really figure out what does my life look like? What's important to me? What are my beliefs and values? Uh, what are my goals? What are my visions? And this, okay, how, how would my life look? And plan these things out. That's part of what you're, you're doing down here is planning out your life and your day and your schedule, managing your time. So now you're spending more time down here and you're blocking out times to get those things done, to take care of those things, take care of the recreation, take care of your uh, your relationships, take care of your exercise and health and, and, and feeding yourself well, and also take care of the projects that, that are going to move you forward and create the vision for yourself, like I'm doing right now. I'm setting time to shoot this video so you have this. So this is the time where you need to spend time. So this is urgent versus important. Uh, so time management really is the secret sauce to success. If you want to be successful, if you want to be happy, whatever you identify success as, health, wealth, peace of mind, relationship, uh, lifestyle, whatever that is, the secret sauce is time management. Figure out your vision, get your goals, and get your time managed properly so you can accomplish all this.